Tammy with Color Valley Cooks. Today has been a wild day, but it's been a great day as well. Um, I hope y'all have had a good day. It is Wednesday night, um, and we have church. Now, I will say, me and Chris have had a good day, but our um, the girl that we go to church with, um, Ginger, that was having a hard time, she actually passed away today. Um, she had breast cancer. So, y'all pray for that family. Her name is Ginger. Pray for her kids. Um, I really don't know how old she is, but I'm thinking in her 30s. So, that is a, a terrible thing and an awful loss for the family. So, just keep Ginger's family in your prayers. I know she's in heaven. She was saved. And um, so, I'm sure she feels much better than she did because she has suffered for some time. Um we had a very long day today. Chris and I got up because we'd been out of town and decided to go to my mom's and take down all of her Christmas decorations and redecorate her room. Then we went by the post office. I got two packages at the post office. And um, so I'm excited about opening those, but I was going to do that live, but I just haven't had a chance to do it yet. Uh, so I'll probably do that tomorrow. I want to say... Okay. Well, anyway, we'll do that tomorrow. And then um, we took down all our Christmas decorations today. So we have had a very, very busy day. So I need really to sit down and read the Word of the Lord and have a quiet moment. And I'm, I'm happy that we have church tonight. Um, and our church doesn't start till 7.30, so I still have a little time to spend with y'all first. Hey, Jessica, it's nice to have you here tonight. Um, we are reading in Charles Stanley's book, which is Jesus, Our Perfect Hope. Um, I will also probably, I may actually read both of them tonight, because I'm just in a, the mood to do it. Okay, January the 9th, Dreaming is the name of this one. It says, listen to this dream which I have had. That comes out of Genesis. Genesis 37, verse 6. It says, Joseph had a dream, a vision of his life that came from Almighty God. Who wouldn't be excited about that? Especially when such a dream promised great blessing and authority. Yet the mistake that Joseph made was thinking that the dream was an immediate, an immediate reality rather than something the Lord would work in and through his life over the years. It is an honest mistake that many of us make. We may believe that the path of God's plan will be easy and full of blessing. However, when we look at Joseph, David, and even Jesus, we see that the fulfillment of the Father's plan takes commitment faith, and patience. Yes, the path of God's will is glorious, eternally glorious. But if you are struggling today because what the Lord has shown you has not yet come to pass, fret not. Psalms 37 verses 3 through 9. This time of pressure and waiting are pure Oh, I'm sorry. They are part of the process of making you into the vessel worthy of carrying out all that he has planned for you to accomplish. And that comes out of Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. Um, Charles Stanley has a little, a little, uh, he always does a little prayer at the end, and his prayer says, Lord, the waiting and the challenges are so difficult but I will trust in you because you always fulfill your promises. Um, so that's a lot to think of. So what he's letting us know is we need to have patience and understand that God is working on our lives. And we may not get what we think we're going to get immediately. So sometimes it takes a while. Um, Sonia says that her video keeps repeating a few lines and then starts over. Well, 
If somebody else is having the same problem, y'all tell me before I read the next chapter. I mean, before I read down my next book. Thank you, uh, Kay. This is my new bedspread that I bought. And um, it is so bright. It is watermelon bright. And I love it. My daughter thinks it's so ugly. But I think it's beautiful. And I had to go get curtains to match. And it was really hard to do. Uh, because I didn't really want to put up watermelon colored curtains. So I put up, I'll show y'all. I put up some that are just kind of a light blue. Well, they're just kind of like a turquoise color. Um, and it's really pretty. And I found these uh, pillows. I can't remember where I bought them. I think I got these at... Uh, I can't rem remember, y'all, where I got these. But anyway, they match it good. But it's a real pretty print. See how pretty it is, y'all? And then we'll read our next study. It's really bright. But I thought it was cheerful. And guess what else I did, y'all? I, Chris thinks I'm crazy, but I couldn't find anything to match it. So I actually took the frames that were already in my bedroom, and I um, took the backs off of them and took the prints out of them. And look, I printed something out with my printer. And, wait a minute, I'm going to turn the... I'm, I'm, I'm trying to turn the camera around so y'all can see. Just one second. Doggone it. Well, let me just walk over here. I don't know why, but my fingers uh, do not do well with this camera. Oh, here we go. Anyway, I printed out an elephant, and he's about the same colors as what's in the spread right here. And so I put the elephant photos on each side of the bed. See, there's one and there's one. And my husband was like, why are you printing out an elephant? I said, because he matches the bedroom. And elephants right now are popular. So anyway. Look how pretty it is, y'all. Ain't it pretty? All right, let me try to turn the camera back around. Here we go. And I'm going to read out of the other book. And that's the book by the... Uh, believe it's Blackaby. Blackaby family. Okay? Yeah, I had to come into the bedroom just to be by myself tonight. Right? Sometimes you just got to get away from everybody else. Alright. January the 9th. This is another book that I really, really like the writing out of. I really do, y'all. And it's called Experiencing God Day by Day. And it is by Henry and Richard Blackaby. And I really, really like it. Um, I'm really kind of picky about what I read for devotionals. And I really, I really like both of these books. Woo! I'm tired. It says, um, Prayer discovers God's agenda. Very early in the morning, while it was still dark, he got up, went out, and made his way to a deserted place. And he was praying there. Comes out of Mark 1, verse 35. It says, It was common knowledge among the disciples that they would find Jesus praying during the early morning hours. When they needed him, they knew to go to the place of prayer. When Judas betrayed Jesus, he led his cohorts to Jesus' place of prayer. Every time the Lord Jesus faced an important decision, he prayed. When he was being tempted to do the things by the world's methods instead of the Father's, he prayed. When it was time to choose his disciples, he prayed the entire night. If the Son of God required a night of prayer in order to determine the Father's mind, how long might it take us in prayer to clearly determine our Father's will? Because Jesus was so often surrounded by crowds, he knew he must find a quiet place so he could clearly hear his Father's voice. Jesus had many people seeking to influence the direction of his life. His disciples wanted him to go where the crowds were. 
The crowds wanted to crown him king. Satan tempted him to make comp uh, wait a minute. Satan tempted him to make compromises in order to draw a following. Jesus knew that his mission was not to attract a crowd, but to remain obedient to his father. It was prayer that set the agenda for Jesus' ministry. Prayer preceded the miracles. Prayer brought him encouragement at critical moments. Prayer enabled him to go to the cross. And prayer kept him there despite excruciating pain. Follow the Savior's example and let your time alone with God in prayer set the agenda for your life. That was really pretty, wasn't it? Uh, and that is true. I've never really thought about it that way, that Jesus really did do a lot of praying. And if he was praying, uh, when he's pretty much, you know, united with his Father, we definitely should be praying because we're not even close to being united with the Father except through Jesus Christ if we're saved. Um, praise the Lord for Jesus so that we can have intercession uh, to the Father with our prayers. And um, I was just actually talking to my brother earlier today, and um, we were talking about how we should pray more than we do, and he and I both said we were guilty and that um, that we needed to pray more. And he's uh, he has a church, and he's been wanting to he's been praying that someone would come that would work with the youth there. And um, so y'all pray for him and his church. Y'all keep Ginger and her family from my church in your prayers. Y'all keep our church in your prayers. Um, and let's just pray for each other. Let's encourage each other and lift each other up. Um, so I hope y'all had a great day today. We get to end it going to church, which is a nice blessing. And... Um, we had a really good day. I got to see Mama and take her some chicken and dumplings. And boy, she loved those chicken and dumplings today. She was happy. And Chris went shopping for her and got her a new um, tablecloth and for her room and some new little placemats. And she said, I just love Chris. She, uh, she really does love Chris. And uh, it's a blessing to have a husband that loves my mama and loves uh the fact you know he he never complains or fusses when we go see her and he does like to go with me you know because he has an option of staying here but he actually likes to go so um, he is a true christian blessing he really is a great man there are some really good men out there but you know who makes them great jesus christ living in their heart because there's nothing good about the us really is there Y'all have a wonderful and blessed night. We're going to say our prayers, and um, it is so good to see everybody. We got Jessica, Charlotte from Alabama, Garden of Sessions, uh, Jessica Holmes. If y'all don't know who Garden of Sessions are, they do great gardening, really interesting stuff. Y'all go on YouTube and look at their posts, uh, and y'all will, if you like to garden, uh, Jessica Holmes, Patricia Lockhart, Kayla Lane Roberts. Hey, Kayla and uh, Shayla. And let's see, Lula. I'm trying to get everybody. And then Sonia. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, I messed it up. Um, so let's say our prayers, why don't we? It's good to see y'all. Um, dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much for your Son, Jesus Christ, first of all, because without Him, we would be lost and undone. I'm thankful that we were all born in this age of grace, where we could find grace in your uh, sight through your Son, Jesus Christ. We thank you for um, His sacrifice for our sin. 
um, please be with us and be with the family tonight of Ginger. Um, I'm sure that they are really hurting inside. I pray for that family and pray for others who are out there battling um, cancer. Um, whether you heal them uh, by making their body healed from the cancer or you heal them by taking them home, I know that they'll, they'll be in your hands and it will be uh, your will that will be done in, the, in our lives through um, our sicknesses and stuff. We trust you with that. Um, be with everyone tonight. Help us stay safe. Uh, be with all the families that have lost loved ones. Uh, be with those who are depressed, sad, and lonely. May they find comfort and joy in you and through you. I pray that they pick up the Bible and start to read it because it's amazing how much better I feel when I read your word. Um, just be with each and every one of us. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Y'all have a blessed night. Love y'all very much. And I'll see y'all tomorrow, and I'll open my gifts, and um, and I'll open them in front of y'all. I'm excited. I got two packages when I got home. Bye, y'all. Love ya.